painting peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cause Creations welcome to the no bra zone number two guys I am happy you're here it's a rainy gray day in Asheville but boy is it cool it's like 54 degrees it's sweater weather which is my jam although I am missing missing the sunshine what does this girl do on a cold rainy day? She makes corn, bacon, and potato chowder in the morning with a little bit of sherry in it to kind of sit on the stove all day long to eat this evening. And then she comes down here to paint. So I don't mind cold gray rainy days, guys, every once in a while. We're going to be doing some swiping today. I'm going to be doing a lot of swiping today because I am practicing and trying to come up with some cool new ideas and get ready for the Fluid Art Experience on November 12th and 13th in Plano, Texas. I am going to have so many wonderful things to share with you to teach you. I can't wait to show you all I have learned along my painting journey, guys. Just paying it forward is what I'm doing. We're working on a nice size canvas today. It's an artist loft gallery wrapped and it's a 12 by 36. Nice canvas, hang it vertical, hang it horizontal whatever your jam is. And we're working with some really cool, cool colors. Let's talk about our pouring medium. Our pouring medium is 50% flood flow trough and 50% Liquitex gloss medium. This is different than the Liquitex pouring medium. It's a little heavier. It leaves a wonderful, wonderful shine. Sweet Jeremy and Lee, my Massey boys, boyfriends, turned me on to this when I was down there hanging out with them a month or so ago. So we're going to go ahead and use it up because I have a big old jug of it. Our paints today, they're yummy. We're getting a little monochromatic. And I'm okay with that, guys. Right here in this cup, we have golden iridescent silver fine in the fluid paints. What does that mean? It means it's more fluid than a tube paint. Right here is a wonderful color. This is Arteza, and this is the Pearl Space Gray. Love me some Arteza paints. Right here is a yummy color. That is DecoArt Metallics in their Pearl. And for good luck, guys, what did I add to it? A little bit of my Golden Fluids Iridescent Pearl. Right here, we have a combination of DecoArt Metallics in the Silver and DecoArt Metallics in the Pearl. So what we did is we just kind of stepped down our color a little bit. This is a combination of these two colors right here. Let me get these paints out of our way, guys. Our base coat. Our base coat is yummy as well. Let's take a look at that. It's like a silvery blue shade, which I think is absolutely yummy. That is a combination of a Lucas Acrylics in the Payne's Gray with golden iridescent silver. A little of this, a little of that, until we got it to the color and the hue that we were hoping for. Now, if you see me pull out this little cup right here, that's just more of our base coat, guys. I always put a little bit aside so I have it to use as an eraser or whatever I might decide to do with it. So, I'm excited about these colors, guys. We're going to be doing a swipe. We're going to be swiping with some cut up different size pieces of damp paper towels. Now, every once in a while, you might see me dip that paper towel into one of my cups. That's just to add more of that color to my composition. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. Ah! 